It was a day very much like today, cold and damp, just about in this exact spot. I stood here on campus because I wanted to see for myself if these images had any positive impact at all. I was pretty skeptical. And as I stood here, a young woman came by. Her eyes immediately fixed on one of the images. And she stood there for a moment. As I watched her, her lower lip began to tremble. I said to her, they're pretty awful, aren't they? She never took her eyes off the image. She said, it's just a word. I'll never think about it the same way again. Civil rights activist, Dr. Martin Luther King, found ways to show people what racism really looked like. Pictures on TV and in magazines opened people's eyes and helped to end segregation in less than 10 years. Dr. King learned this from reformers who came before him. People like Lewis Hine, who showed pictures of children working in mills and in mines to help end abusive child labor practices. People like the abolitionists of the 1800s, who, though they didn't have photography, were able to use illustrations and line drawings to end slavery. And finally, we've all heard of William Wilberforce and Thomas Clarkson, who distributed medallions that showed the humanity of the slave and diagrams of the slave ship to illustrate the inhumanity of slavery. This helped end the slave trade in England. CBR uses this model of social reform with our campus projects and other activities to help open people's eyes to the truth. When I first saw the GAP project um, with the Center for Bioethical Reform, I was completely undone and shocked and um, it caused a 180 to happen in my life. Uh, I know a lot of times when people think about that, uh, they really, they want to turn their head and they really don't want to see it. But I've got to tell you, seeing that will, that will have a lasting impression. And I just want to thank you for your gentle nature, uh, your caring nature, your commitment uh, to this cause. I really know that you're making a tremendous difference. You do great work. The people who are associated with you do great work. And I just want to thank you for, for your efforts and the tremendous difference that you're making here in Tennessee and around the southeast. Uh, it, it's really phenomenal. My uncle, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said that America will not reject racism until America sees racism. And I say to you today that America will not reject abortion until America sees abortion. Why do you guys choose college campuses to go to? Why do you think that's the... Um, I think, I think it's the most important place to be because you've got, you know, roughly 52% of the abortions happening on college campuses. And so this is, I mean, this is where you make it or break it. You've got, but I think by the time people leave college, they're either pro-life or they're pro-abortion and it's not going to change. And so you've got this great opportunity to try to reach them. And especially, you've also got the fact that just the college lifestyle, typically, um, abortion is, a, is, is an option that, that a lot of people um, having the college lifestyle want. Um, and so this is a very important place for us to have um, pro-life activity in. Um, it's very important for women to, to know that there are other options um, mm -hmm. available to them besides abortion and if, if something happens to them or their friends. I mean, when we're like, it's making me shut down. When you're like, hey, abortion is wrong, that's fine, I'll listen to you. But if you're like, abortion is wrong, and then show me a picture of a fetus head, I'm like, oh my god, what the hell's your problem? And I'm not going to listen. I mean, that's all we're trying to point. We're trying to say that we're not the Because these guys are smart. These guys, I mean, you guys are opening conversation. And whether you like it or not, it's opening your mind. And I mean, that's what campus living is all about. You guys are like, going to class, I'm here to learn. Let me tell you what, you're learning right now. You're learning, you're hearing two sides of the story. You might like, you might like it, you might not love it. You might hate calculus, but damn it, you still go, right? That's what you guys are here for. But the point is, these guys are thinking, and I'm liking it. I'm, I'm liking the open discussion, you know, and I mean, 
I really don't like these pictures, but damn it, I wouldn't be here otherwise. I'd be in my room asleep, and I think every <laughs> last one of you would be too. So, I mean, give the guys their credit where credit is due. They're not stupid. I have. I know at Middle Tennessee State, the students did a survey, and 15% of the passersby said that the display changed their minds about abortion, made them to take the pro-life position. And so it's very gratifying to see people actually changing their minds. I just want to tell you, I was going to get an abortion today and I saw your pictures and I changed my mind. So I guess you kind of helped save my baby's life. So you kind of saved mine too. But I just want to say thank you for those pictures because that was just that was just horrible. I couldn't do it. So. I just want to tell you thank you, and you have a blessed day. Please pray for me. Thank you. Bye-bye. I wanted to let you know that uh, my baby is two months old today, and if it wouldn't have been for you guys, I wouldn't have ever had a child, and and I love him very much, and um, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seeing the photos made me realize that um, it's human life that I took, and not only did I take one child, but I took two, and I took my twins. And um, that's something that you can't take back. And so I am so passionate about the photos that CBR um, exposes because that is what turned my life around. And The Center for Bioethical Reform follows the model of social reformers like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Lewis Heim, and William Wilberforce by showing pictures of abortion at our campus outreach projects. Showing these pictures wins hearts, changes minds, and actually saves lives. She never took her eyes off the image. It's just a word, she said, abortion. I'll never think about it the same way again. I had come because I was skeptical, and I wanted to see for myself if this was making a difference. I prayed, Lord, show me, and he did. He showed me this is making a difference. <laughs>